how you doing today? Today we are putting the Roborock S5 through the Mega stress test. This has been requested by several people and I am here to do what you guys want. No, just kidding, I was gonna do this one anyways. So anyways, this is the Mega stress test. I just got done recording the Roborock S4 Max and that one's been got completely full to where I had to empty it out after the first run. I kind of think I'm going to have to do the same thing on this. So I predict it's going to get done with the job, tell me the first run is done, and I will have to empty it, which is totally fine, since there is no self-empty bin. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mess. This is exactly the same amount of stuff that the S4 Max did, because I emptied its bin and the contents from the first run on the floor. So it's exactly the same amount. Rice, chips... 24 jelly beans total. And quite the mess on hardwood. You can barely even see the floor. <laughs> this is another test that I did, the Roomba S9 Plus. That S9 Plus was so impressive at how well it did. Per I'd say 99.99% perfect job. And of course, you know that has a self-empty bin. And that one went out and just, it dominated. But a lot of people wanted to see this test with the Roborock S5 as well as myself. So let's go ahead and just get into it. I have it emptied and I have it on max suction. Let's verify. All right, we got on max. It shows there's a firmware update, but I'm having issues downloading it. Not sure why, but that's okay. It should still run with no problem. Starting the cleanup. All right. Good luck to you, Roborock S5. I think it's going to do better than the S4 Max. S4 Max did good overall, but I think this is going to do even better. So I really hope this guy does a perfect job after two runs on all these stress tests. I always do two runs on max power and then we'll see how well it looks after the second run. So if you don't already know, LiDAR based systems always start with the perimeter sweep and then they will fill in the middle of the perimeter they just made. I have to say, this guy right here is my favorite robot that does not have a self-empty bin. If Roborock came out with one, I would buy it instantly, and I think we'd have the best robot vacuum on the market. No joke. Okay, so it's taking the same exact path as the S4 Max. Basically starting with the carpet and then it will clean the inside of this perimeter and then move on to the hardwood. One thing I already noticed, this one hugs the wall better than the S4 Max. I like the side brush better on here than the rubber one on the S4. I think this is definitely an overall better robot, and we will be able to see that at the end of this test. All right, well, I'm gonna set this down and speed it up for you guys, and then we can check out how well it does. And then we will compare it to the S4 and the Roomba S9. Like I said, I will have to empty the bin after the first run without a doubt. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you're new, please do me a favor, like and subscribe, and I will be back in a little bit.
All right, as expected, you don't hear it as much on this one as you did on the S4 Max, but on carpet, uh, on the hardwood over there, you could definitely hear how full this thing is, and this thing is definitely full, which I 100% expected, and I know for a fact I'm gonna empty it, and then it's gonna go back out, and I think it's gonna do this job perfectly. While it's docking, let's take a look at what it has to clean up on the second run. I think the carpet looks really good. I missed a few jelly beans on here, but I do think it'll get it on the next run. And then the hardwood overall looks pretty good. Seeing those streaks over there, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's around when it got full. So maybe it just wasn't able to pick up anymore at all. So sending this out for the second time, I do think it's gonna get it all. We'll have to compare it to that S4 Max and see which one is the king. I predict this one, but we will see. All right, very full, <laughs> like very, very full. Dust bin removed. Let's go ahead and empty this out. All right, that's good enough. Dust bin installed. Quite a bit of stuff. Let's see if any is left under here, the S4 Max was so full that there was a bunch under here when I removed it and then when I spun the roller bar a bunch fell out and I had to re-put it back out so let's take a look a tiny bit and yeah just like the other one well this one only had one jelly bean the other one had three so to make it fair I'm throwing this stuff back out here we got it back on the dock we're gonna send it out again. Just like the S4 Max, it's an 88% battery life. Uh, it's still on max suction. Let's go ahead and send it out for its second cleaner job. Starting the cleanup. And I'm not gonna record the second part just because it's, it'll do exactly what you just saw previously. But as soon as it's done, I'll show you the results. And I predict you won't see any of this at all. Maybe a tiny bit along the edges, but I think all this in the middle, all of that will be completely gone. That's my guess. So which one do you think is gonna be better in the end? The S4 Max, which most of you have already watched, or this guy, the S5. I, like I said, I highly predict this one. And uh, let's just see. That's kind of odd. It's actually taking a different path this time. Looks like it cut the room in half. And it's going to do this section first and then move down. That's very odd. I don't know if the S4 Max did that. I don't remember because I'd have to rewatch the video. It might have done that on the second run. Alright guys, I will be back. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you have, please do me a favor, smash that like button, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, we are done with round number two on Max. Let's take a look at how it did. We're going to compare this to the Roomba S9 Plus and the Roborock S4 Max. Let's check out the carpet first, as always. Charging. You can see the carpet looks perfect. Like I don't see anything on this carpet at all. So excellent job on the carpet. Uh, I guess there's one tiny crushed jelly bean. Not sure how, oh, that's a chip, Never mind. Let's go ahead and check out the hard wood. And look at that, it looks very, very good. Um, there is some rice laying around, so it didn't do perfect. A little bit of rice there, against the baseboard there. You can't count the rice under there because it simply can't reach it because of the way I have the boards. No robots get that. A little bit here. A decent amount along the stairs along with a jelly bean. And then some over here as well. 
So not a gr great job on the hardwood, but it did do better, like I predicted, than the S4 Max. Once again, the Roomba S9 Plus dominated. That thing is just beyond amazing. And yes, it is double to triple the price, depending on the price you pay. But for a test like this, and just basing it off just this test, it's a superior robot. However, if you can find this S5 on sale for, you know, like three, 350, it's a very, very, very good robot vacuum. It's probably, it's, it is my favorite one without a self-empty bin. So the mega stress test, I'd say it passed pretty dang good. It probably got 99% of the debris on the two runs. So I would say that is definitely a pass. The S4 Max passed. All right, guys, there you have it. There's the Roborock S5. Once again, for a mega stress test, it's excellent. I just really wish they'd come out with the self-empty bin. Like I said, once you have one, you really do not like emptying these. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see any other tests like this. Uh, I would like to do another kind of crazy test with all my robots running at once. But I'm having a blank on an idea of what I should do. So if you guys can think of something fun, let me know down in the comments and I can have all the all my robots running at once. I think I have like 15 of them right now. And uh, I just can't think of anything that's really clever. So I'm hoping you guys could help me out with that. I did want to do some sort of like, just for fun of course, like the knife fight. That video got pretty popular where I had five of them. And they all had knives attached to them with a balloon. And they popped each other and the last one standing one. I could somehow rig that up to do with 13 to 15 robots. I think that'd be kind of fun. I really want to do something like that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And um, that's going to wrap up this video. If you're new, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy holidays, and we will see you in the next one.